So originally my plan was to upload this video on Tuesday, uh, like I've been, like my plan was to review every single DC movie every single Tuesday uh, that I need to review before the Snyder Cut comes out. So basically I review for Man of Steel and Wonder Woman, I need to talk about Suicide Squad, and I need to talk about the Joss Whedon version of Justice League, and yeah. So, I need to talk about those. Um, and so, Batman vs. Superman was on that list. And what better day to drop that review than the day the Snyder Cut comes out, right? And this is why. This movie is why I'm not excited about this movie. Because everything wrong with this movie will undoubtedly be wrong with the Snyder Cut. This movie... So severely misrepresents Batman and Superman. And it is awful. So first of all, we have Batman in this movie who does not act like Batman. He kills. Now, some people... I know people like to throw arguments like, oh, well, he kills in early days of comics. Well, yeah. He doesn't kill anymore because it's part of his moral code. He killed in Batman 1989. Yeah, that's why that's a bad adaptation. Because it was made by Tim Burton. He directed the movie. And he did not know anything about Batman. He never read a Batman comic in his life. And he made this movie about Batman where he kills people and drops them in vats of acid. You know, stuff... Um, little old Bruce would never do. You know, in the comics, people, you know, when the heroes fall on acid, um, that's because, well, he does too. Uh, or, um, or it was an accident, you know? It wasn't something that he did on purpose. It's bad. And, you know, I like Batman 1989. I think why that's a better movie than this is because... Okay, I can respect that's a different version of Batman. Because the acting, the performances, um, everything is incredibly well made. But far from a, a bad ending, and it's just a really well-crafted movie. This is not. This is Zack Snyder throwing disrespect at characters... That he clearly didn't know what to deal with. The movie isn't coherent. And, I, and and I'm gonna say this. Yes, I did watch the Ultimate Edition. The Ultimate Edition does not fix all the problems of why the plot doesn't make sense or why things don't make sense. And you could say, well, the Snyder Cut was gonna fix that. Well, great. But this movie sucks on its own then. Because I shouldn't have to watch it. And if I don't enjoy this movie, right? What makes me want to go to watch the Snyder Cut to see the movie make sense, right? The point is to make a good movie so people want to see the next one. Not, hey, let's make a movie to set up the next one. And it's just terrible writing. Superman acts nothing like Superman. He's aggressive. He's angry. He says lines. Superman would never say, the bat is dead. Let it die. You know, and the whole reason they're mad at each other doesn't even make sense. Okay, I get Batman's motivation, right? He wants to stop Superman. Because Superman caused a lot of damage in Man of Steel. Now, this is Zack Snyder's way of addressing the criticism about the events of Man of Steel's climax, where Zod destroyed everything and he snapped his neck. Cool. Which, Superman looks like a terrorist, but doesn't see how he looks like a terrorist. Superman has no reason to fight Batman. Batman has a reason to fight him because a lot of people died that day that he knew he's upset about it so you know th he has a reason to be upset Superman doesn't he just gets upset and he's like Bruce I'm mad at you I'm gonna fight you now okay and and just throwing doomsday in there that ugly ass looking thing it just it just this movie is worthless and I know there's a diehard fan. Zack Snyder had a vision. No, he didn't. I mean, he did, yes, but his vision wasn't good. 
He's not a visionary director. He's a director who has a style, yeah, but not a good style that helps his movies. His movies are actively made worse by his style. He made Watchmen. Watchmen is a comic book adaptation that is incredibly disrespectful to the source material and nothing like the source material. And then he went on to make Batman vs. Superman from the same studio. I understand why people like Zack Snyder's films. However, I don't understand this. His movies are great. They're underappreciated. Let's pretend they're good. No, they're not good. This is a terrible, terrible movie. I mean, just, wow. Again, Superman, the, Bat, the Batman 1989, Michael Keaton's performance is great. Um... Jack Nicholson as the Joker are really, really good performances. And it's such a beautiful looking movie with incredible effects and a great score. This doesn't have that. The style hurts it. And I just don't like this movie. It's an awful film. Just four out of ten.